Hey guys, how are we doing? We're going to try something a little different today. Me and the fam were swimming the other day in this creek, and this hole was just full of bluegill. And there's a few bass, nothing real big. But we were catching crawdads and stuff and feeding these bluegill by out of hand. So I come down here today and went and got some snorkel equipment from Walmart, some cheap stuff. And I have about a uh, three foot length of fishing line with just a little hook and I got some night crawlers. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this snorkel equipment, I'm gonna go underwater and I'm gonna see if I can't catch some of these fish by just using this little three or four foot piece of line, little hook crawler. And I also got some minnows in my minnow bucket. If it works out with these bluegill, I'm gonna try putting a minnow on and see if I can't catch a couple of these bass. So bear with me, something a little different. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys. Got our goggles on. Got a little piece of line. Give it a shot. So let's see how it goes. My dang minnow was coming up the top, so I didn't think no split shot. I just tied a rock on there, made it out of holding that minnow down. Because there's a really nice smallmouth, and I'd like to see if he'd grab it. Well, dang bass is kicking my butt like the third time he's hit it. Just can't get the hook in him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Huh? Got a little guy in the middle. God, I had like super light line on and this monster smallmouth just come out of nowhere and blast my middle and broke my leader. So I gotta go in to retie. Nice smolly on a, doing that. That's pretty cool. I was having a blast in the water hand lining for those fish but I've got a really cheap cheap mask from Walmart and it started leaking so I had to call it quits but since we're still here I've got my trusty hand line yet here, Hang on here guys. still got my trusty 
hand line here and I'm gonna do some free lining just with a fishing line and a spool I got here try that and I'm gonna got a few minnows left and I'm gonna throw it out there and maybe see what I can pull out by hand threw it a really really nice walleye that I was holding in this hole it'd be super awesome if I could get a hold of him so let's try this and see what happens all right get a minnow on here Got our trusty state-of-the-art rock. I'm just gonna lobe it out there by that tree out there. Whoop, not far enough. Alright, let's see what happens, guys. Boy, the middle of the fire he's trying, he's holding that rock up. Something, yep, something just picked it up, guys. We'll let him run with it a little bit. All right, we got some. What do we got? Oh, got oh, had a pretty nice bass on there. All right, that goes back out there. Oh, something picked it back up. Let me have it a little bit this time. All right, got him. And I got a little bass. <laughs> All right, let's get a fresh minnow out of there. Let's try this again. Come on, little guy. Ooh, there's a bass right in front of us, guys. I can see him swimming around. We're gonna drop this minnow right on the top of his head and see what happens. Oh, boy, them blue gear are on like freaking piranhas. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oops, swimming away from it. Hey guys, we're going to wrap it up for today. That was a pretty cool experience. You know, watching the minnows getting struck by those bass and everything. I kind of half-assed this time. I didn't. I should have bought some split shot or something. Kind of holding minnows. I was using a dang rock. And a real light line. I'll bring a little bit heavier line next time. And more hooks. I only brought like two hooks with me. And I had a cheap, cheap mask. I'll bring a better mask. Mask to try this next time. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit that comment button. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.